This You're going to have to wing it. Surprisey <laughs> stuff. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You're going to have to wing it. Yeah. Okay. In our first story, Mr. Chiboyko, uh, as you can see on the screen, Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins channeled her inner Trump <laughs> and said that movies on Netflix and the like seemed fake to her. Uh, I think if we look at the screen here, uh, one of my favorite quotes on these, uh, <laughs> here it is. All of the films that streaming services are putting out, I'm sorry, they look like fake movies to hear. To me, I don't hear about them. I don't read about them. It's not working as a model for establishing legendary greatness. Like Wonder Woman 84. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, gal. <laughs> that was my thought. Like, <laughs> well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, what, yeah, what, if this is the first you saw, scene of it, what, what is your, what is your hot take on this? I, I mean, I, yeah, go, go. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I heard, uh, I heard a little bit about this earlier this week. Um, you know, it, it's almost like sometimes you, they catch, uh, maybe they're genuinely this sort of antagonistic, but, um, yeah, there's low key antagonism, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I can sort of see what she says. The implication is that everyone else makes fake movies. I make real movies. But um, uh, yeah, it's it's sort of a weird comment, isn't it? I, I and and it's not like she's got a. As far as I know, she's got not got a gigantic track record either. It's not like she's made twenty five movies. So well, and um, if you look further in the piece, it's kind of hilarious. You know, of late, Netflix has released three Oscar nominated films: Alfonso Cuarón's. Roma. I mean, Roma? they're made of Ro Roma. Uh, it me uh, set in Mexico in, I want to say the seventies. Uh, but you know, I could, I could see why you're kind of stumbling on that one. Who the heck is this Alfonso Caron? You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that yeah. flash in the pan, that in, <laughs> he'll never I... make another decent movie. Uh, of course, uh, Scorsese's The Irishman, that must really stick in his craw that <laughs> someone making a one of those cinematic, uh, what does he call it? Like, not, they're not cinema. They are amusement. Entertainments or something? Yeah. <laughs> Enter, <totally>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to the cinema to witness an entertainment. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, I think... Uh, I, I did find it. I did find it entertaining, and we've already got people in the chat. Uh, looks like we've got uh, here. Let's say a quick hello, and then we'll get back into the news. Uh, first oh, yeah. of all, Richard L. Good to see you here, man. <laughs> uh, Sean from Lost in the Real, uh, and I was just thinking of him earlier as I was prepping for our trash talk news uh, segment. Uh, and great to see you here, Sean. And then, of course, hey, the Upside Dan. Good to see. See you, man. Woo. Woo. Oh, and Shashank, our wow. man in Chennai. This is awesome. Great to see you here, man. It's for Labor Day. Yeah. <laughs> this is fantastic. All right. Uh, anything else you wanted to add to that before I move to the next story, Mr. Well, yeah. Schwerko? I mean, it might have been a shot across the bow, you know, uh, considering what uh, Scorsese had said about uh, comic, well, Marvel movies in yeah. particular. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't figure that out. I sort of get where she's coming from in that that movies that are strictly go to streaming, um, they do sort of lack that sort of punch, right? You know, you you know, you might see the trailer and the heft, you, the gravitas. Yeah, it's just you know, and the, the the whole and let's not downplay the ritual of going to a, to a movie. Um, it, it's kind of a kind of a neat thing. Uh, I've now seen two movies in the movie theater, which I'm sure some of our American friends will laugh at uh, since since uh, COVID. Uh, you know, the, the sort of the chains have been slightly released. Um, and I'm, I'm the thing that I love most about it is that you're not aware of time. Any other time there's some, there's a light, right? I'm looking at a clock right now. There's a clock on my phone. There's a clock. If you're watching the DVD, a DVD, remember those, uh, there's a light there. So you're always conscious of the time when I'm in the theater, none of that. I don't look at the watch. Yeah. I don't need to know what time it is. So there's there's certain aspects about the movie going um, going to the theater that but, I think is better than. But, but. honestly, like this, I, I, I'd see if she had a deeper analysis than yeah than this. But I think though, 
to totally write off, just, wow, well, they seem fake. Like, it's such a hot take. It's yeah. such a hot take. I believe that deserves, boy, we haven't brought uh -oh. out hot take Henry in a while, but Never I believe, comes. hot take. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. You oh, didn't, no. didn't get the echo. Hot take. There we go. Um, awesome. But yeah, the, it, it lacks, uh. It lacks something that I, what am I? Oh, you know what? I've lost my train of thought all of a sudden. Oh yeah. She is not providing analysis. Yeah. She is just running down movies that are going to streaming almost like she's like, you know, my art, my cinema was taken, taken away from the theater and put on mm -hmm. that peasant television box without kind of being aware of, first of all, not just the grand changes, but also, uh, fuck sakes, it's been a global pandemic. Mm. You know, count, you know, if she even looks at her own country, you know, near well over half a million people dead. Mm -hmm. And that toll continues to rise. Yeah. Guess what? You, you, be, for, be happy that you got some, and that movie wasn't exactly a great piece of cinema or yeah. amusement. <laughs> it's like not many, of the, not many of us were amused. Not many of you know, like, what have you done for us lately? As Janet Jackson has sung sure. in the past. Um, sure. I should mention really quickly. <laughs> okay. We got to get uh, a move uh, on, but yeah, real quick, quick. Quentin quick. Tarantino talked to Mark Marin. In, in Mark's great uh, interview show and went at length about how he released uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood just before. He talked about it like it was just before the walls came down or the castle gate yeah. came down. So if you want to look for that, uh, go back. And it's kind of interesting how a filmmaker uh, regards that. Anyway, yeah. next topic. Send us a...